just come my way wherever I go. Hard luck is there to stay. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. For tonight's Grim Adventure, we find ourselves in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. Right behind me is Kevin Smith's movie theater, a place known as Smod Castle. Tonight is the world premiere of the Forest Hills. Because it's cold, Jessica's already inside. We got our seats. There's a Q&A. There's going to be a meet and greet and, of course, an after party. Kevin Smith is going to be here. Edward Furlong is going to be here. We are here. This is going to be good. It's a fun movie. We've been waiting for this for quite some time and tonight it is happening. Everybody's already starting to line up. Scott Goldberg, the director, is over there. I've seen a couple different people. Now this theater is completely decked out with anything and everything Kevin Smith. Kind of makes your head spin. While we are waiting for the Forest Hills to begin, let's go ahead and walk the halls of Smod Castle Cinemas. The walls are filled with anything and everything. Kevin Smith. Hey, check this out. Yeah. I have to ask you, Scott. Yeah. On a level one to ten. Well, ask me that. Are you more nervous or are you more excited? Nervous. Yeah. 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 Nervous, yeah. yeah. To see people's reactions and to see uh, see the reaction is the best thing. That's what we do. We want to have people enjoy, you know, uh, the art that we create. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Kids come in close. As close as you want to touch whatever you need. <laughs> and first, how about we'll start exactly. here? If anybody else needs something, let us know. But. <laughs> so, how did you get involved with the film and the premiere here in Smart Me? Uh, yes. Uh, I, we bought the theater a few months back, and so uh, since they're having the premiere here, uh, it's mandatory that. I show up. I insist on going to everything that everybody does here. So that's how I got lucky enough to get in. I believe the question is, how did you get involved? Yeah, so we have a mutual friend. Uh, Ashley, one of the co-owners, has a mutual friend, Jeremiah Kip, who they inquired about, you know, potentially having the premiere, and we were excited about it, and, you know, and appreciate the support for Kevin Smith and Smod Castle and Ashley and Ernie and just independent films and everything, and we're happy just to be here. So appreciate it. Uh, Thanks, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, how do you feel about uh, the return of Shelley Duvall? Uh, awesome. I'm an 80s kid and whatnot, so Popeye, uh, The Shining, uh, even further back, the Altman stuff, like, uh, it, you know, kind of thrilling. I, I remember reading about it in National Press, like EW or something yeah. like that. Right. Wrote about her being in the flick. So very, very cool. And she's zooming in tonight or something? Yeah, she's going to zoom tonight. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty dope. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks. How often do you have celebrities zoom in? <laughs> um, let me see. When we've... Uh, when we did Terrifier, some of the kids from the cast zoomed in, um, and I think that was the only time we've done. This is only the second time we've zoomed folks in. Of all the things you do, what's the favorite? You have acting, you have writing, you have the theater now. What's your favorite? Um, the uh, you know all the other stuff. Like when you direct, you get compared to other directors, and people can be like, "You suck compared to like Scott." So I, I like just being myself for a living. Uh, Epictetus said, "Like if you want to." 
win and enter a contest where you're the only contestant. So uh, there's no other like Kevin Smith, so it's much easier to be him for a living than it is to even be a director for a living. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, anybody else, or should we get going? Let's see this stone. Scott, how on earth are you like keeping your composure standing up there next to Kevin Smith? I'm like three feet away, away from you and I'm there's losing no, my mind. There's no distance <laughs> right. enough between directors. We've now exactly. seen the exact same shit and dealt with the exact same shit yeah. and whatnot. You become part of a, a fraternity, sorority. Uh, it, you know, it's yeah. It, yeah it's, it's, it's tough to manage a bunch of personalities and get them all together and have the God spot where you're trying to figure out what the whole thing's going to look like from a distance. And, you know, it's, t it's tough on the cast and crew to pull a movie out of your head. Only the director can see the entire thing. So if you can work with a cast and crew to the point where you can show a finished film, that means you're able to communicate your thoughts. Um, nice. So it, it's, you know, it's, it's not like anybody can't do it, but very few actually do wind up doing it. We're like astronauts. There's only a certain amount of us. Yeah. Is that? That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> it, it made my world. There it is. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So. All right, kids. Awesome. Let's show it for you. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hi. How are you? Hey, kids. Welcome. Excellent sunglasses, my friend. All right. This is, it's the time. Yep. It is the time. We've all been waiting for it. Do we have this up this way, I guess? Uh, we stay here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, you guys are ready to go? I'll. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> You're good, man. This yeah, is man. I'm just nervous about no, talking. I know. I'm more nervous, more nervous talking to people <laughs> yeah. than I am. Anything else, yeah. You know, we, we do Q&As at right. different shows, and I'm telling you what, it's the hardest thing for right. us. Yeah. So I can only imagine with you. All this no, time, all this effort, and yeah, no, I know it's, it's great. It's crazy, yeah. It was, you know, we lead up to it. You know, the couple of months, just kind of them, you know, reaching out, and now it's finally here. So yeah, it's, it's just crazy. You know, because there's so much anticipation. You just want to make sure things go right. There's no glitches and stuff. So right now, we're getting ready to go on stage. Scott Goldberg and Kevin Smith are kind of gearing up. You can hear the applause. I'd stay here and I'll bring you in. I want to peek. Yeah, go in, yeah, go in. Go in. I'm going to go in. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Spodcast on Kevin Smith. Uh, thanks for being here. If you've been uh, to the Spodcast and some of those before, uh, welcome back. If you've never been here before, uh, welcome uh, to the Jewel. Atlantic Highlands, uh, New Jersey, down here for sure. Uh, we've got uh, lots of cool events coming up here around next week. We're doing a whole film festival called The Eyes of Mark, where we're showing some 80s movies with my co-host from the podcast that I do called uh, Batman Young. Uh, we're showing uh, Dune, a bunch of Dune. Uh, we're showing Streets of Fire. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you imagine. And then we're also uh, finishing up with Flash Gordon. Uh, so if you're in the area, uh, come on out. Um, if the staff uh, or myself seem a little sleepy, it's because all last night we were doing an event called uh, Clerks Up All Night, where from midnight till 7 in the morning we showed uh, Clerks, Clerks 2, and Clerks 3, and people were here in their pajamas and whatnot. So if you find your are streaming down the aisles, <laughs> it was probably the food cast last night, you didn't want to go up and just went from there while we see. We tried to clean up as best we could. Uh, kids, uh, horror was my first. Love. Long before I wanted to work in comedy, I was a horror kid. I grew up in the 70s and 80s and absolutely loved horror movies. And then tried to make a horror film my, myself years later in 2004 called Jersey Girl. Um, it didn't, quite, <laughs> didn't quite work out for us. People thought it was a drama. Um, so anytime uh, somebody uh, comes to the theater uh, with a horror film, it's exciting and it's helpful for me because it reminds me of the life that I wanted to live and didn't wind up living. So I get to live vicariously uh, through the filmmakers who come here with their work. Um, this is one of the most tried and true genres on the planet. Look how many people are here tonight uh, to see this compared to I just walked in a creek or three fucking people <laughs> seeing it. Uh, so tonight, man, this is absolutely the highest grocer uh, at Smart Cast and Cinemas. Yeah, yeah, we have to get your hands together. <laughs> Uh, we were all together uh, for the premiere of The Forest Hills uh, with 
without somebody going like, ooh, I want to make a movie. It generally starts uh, with the director, and I would like to introduce you to tonight's director. Please give it up for Scott Cole. <laughs> Forest Hills. Edward Furlong, Kevin Smith was here, Scott Goldberg and all the cast and crew for the movie, and us in New Jersey. What did you think of the final product of the Forest Hills? We saw a rough draft, which was amazing, but the small additions they made brought the story all together, and I really enjoy it. It was like the finished, polished product. Yeah. It was good. With that being said, oh, and this was our very first time at Smod Castle Cinemas. Yeah. I'd like to come back and see another movie. Of course. And this is nice. Everybody here has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, you know what? With that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time from Smod Castle Cinemas, the Hi. world premiere of the Forest Hills. Until next time, happy Halloween. Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's gone from my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 